tonight, Genesee County has plans to go green. As TV5's Kendall Keys reports, a new project from Mid Michigan's largest utility company would bring solar energy to the area. We are shifting our mindset to uh, uh, really increase the amount of renewables on our system and uh, eliminating coal as a source of electricity fuel. Terry Ditos of Consumers Energy says the energy giant is shaking hands with Ranger Power to purchase solar power that will be generated by a future solar plant called Confluence Solar. We're going to be buying 150 megawatts of clean solar energy from that project when it goes into operation probably by the end of 2024. Dito says that's enough power to serve about 75,000 residential customers. A representative with Ranger Power tells me the project will be located on about 1,500 acres of land in Flushing Township and about 300 acres of land in Montrose Township. The project, estimated at $200 million, is expected to create up to 250 jobs in Genesee County during construction and generate $25 million in new property tax revenues. What's not to like about solar energy that quietly turns the sun into power for homes and businesses in Michigan and at the same time generates uh, tax revenue. Montrose Township resident Rex Wheeler is a vocal opponent of the project and says he feels like the project is being fast tracked. I personally think the residents should have more say in this than the green power companies. These big companies that aren't even based out of Michigan like Ranger Power after they build this, they're going to leave. They're going to go to their next project and leave us with what they built. He says there are too many unanswered questions about the agreement. It'd be nice to slow down and get those answers before we shove these, this big project down people's throats. The agreement between Ranger Power and Consumers Energy still needs the approval of the Michigan Public Service Commission. Reporting in Genesee County, I'm Kendall Keyes.